So today I thought it might be kind of fun to go over the Seahawks history, how they started, how they got their name, who some of the best head coaches of our time were. Well, let's just, let's just talk it out. Let's see how the Seattle Seahawks got to who they are today. So if we're going to talk about the Seahawks, we're going to start in the 1970s. In 1970, the NFL proposed an expansion from 26 to 28 teams. Um, and the city of Seattle got a little light bulb and said, well, maybe we can have a team. So in 1972 is when Seattle Professional Football Incorporated was created in hopes that we would have a team coming to Seattle in the near future. So in 1974, Lloyd Nordstrom signs the papers that Seattle is officially going to have a team. So 1975 rolls around, and we're getting closer to when Seattle will actually become a team, and they said, well, what are we going to name this team? So they sent out the question to the public. The public came back with a lot of really interesting names, but the most popular was the Seahawk. So Seattle chose that name, and they become the Seattle Seahawks. They could have been the Seattle Abominable Snowman. So that would have been really cool. Too bad that didn't go through. 1976 rolls around, the year that Seattle is officially a team. The first season in 1976, Seattle finished 2-12, which was not ideal, but makes sense for a first-year team. And in that year, at the end of the season, Tampa Bay and Seattle switched divisions. So Seattle went to the AFC West and Tampa Bay went to the NFC West. August 22 of 1976 was the day that we chose Steve Largent. We gave up our eighth round draft pick and was awarded Steve Largent as our wide receiver, which in retrospect was an awesome idea. And his number now hangs retired in CenturyLink. Of note, Seattle has been playing their games in the kingdom which was built in 1976. I think this is where the story gets a little bit interesting. In 1988, the owners change. Ken Baring buys the Seahawks from the Nordstrom family. Of note, Lloyd Nordstrom had died of a heart attack in 1976 when the Seahawks actually started. So let's skip to 1994. An acoustic tile fell from the ceiling of the King Dome. So Seattle moved to Husky Stadium for three games while the integrity of the kingdom was assessed and the ceiling was fixed. So in 1994, we have Dennis Erickson named as head coach. Because the kingdom started failing us, Baring says, I don't want to deal with this. I'm going to move to L.A., Anaheim. And Seattle says, please don't. And NFL says, you can't. So then Baring says, I don't want to deal with this anymore, and wonderful Paul Allen steps in and says, Seattle, I'm going to buy this team, I'm going to build you a gorgeous stadium, and Seattle is going to have football for a long, long time. And maybe some other people in Seattle could have taken a hint from Paul Allen on how to keep a team in Seattle. So 1999, good year for Seattle, 2000 comes, realize can't stay in the kingdom, so Seattle goes to Husky Stadium and plays there for two years while CenturyLink gets built. Before we get to CenturyLink, though, 1999, Mike Holmgren is named new head coach. A lot of people will know and love Mike Holmgren, and he takes us to the playoffs, 1999, 2004, 2005, 2006, and 2007. Can you imagine? And then he leaves in 2009. Jim Mora comes in for that year and then is dismissed of his job. What a glorious year 2002 was. Seattle is done playing at Husky Stadium. Century Link Quest Field, as previously known, was built. And Seattle becomes an NFC West team once again. 2005, Seattle goes 13-3, and which was unheard of for us at that time. And they go to the Super Bowl. My dad, he took us to the Super Bowl because he said... I've waited this long for a Super Bowl, and you don't know when you're going to be able to go. As exciting as it was, how disappointing was it when all of what happened went down. So, let's just skip ahead. 2010 is when Pete Carroll came, and he drafted, along with um, the help of John Schneider, our GM, uh, some of the best players in the NFL, and lucky they play for us. And Seattle, in the last five, six years has been absolutely killing it. And it's been so fun to be a Seahawks fan throughout history, but this is just really fun to watch so much success happen to this team. And as we enter the 2016 season, I think that we will not be disappointed.